Avi, no! Whoa, bro! We got boys in a hood up in his piece, dude. What's up, great? How'd that one feel? Uh, fantastic, bro. Appreciate you coming out. How'd that one feel? Tell me, how'd this one feel, bro? Yeah, go ahead, get back up. There you go, got your back, man. Check it. And tearing love apart. There's people here. Shady's back. Shady's back. Shady's back. Shady's back. Oh, yeah, is he? No, you didn't. I was down like a plate and a half. He's like, almost got you. Almost got you. Almost. I did. Almost got him. Ooh, yeah. Pick me up. Whoa, whoa. What the hell just happened? Never doing one of those again. I just died from halfway across the goddamn map by this guy. Look at this. Wow, dude. Could you imagine having an aim assist? Couldn't be me, dude. Wicked Steve. Props. Hell yeah. Stevie Steve. Stevie Wonder. Danny. Danny, your mom's got a jiggly booty. Danny. Danny, talk to me, Danny. Danny. Just a Danny boy. Ooh. What's your favorite card? Uh, I, you know what? I would, I, I would love to go back to PS3 Advanced Warfare, dude. Could you imagine? Imagine living life to its fullest on PS3 Advanced Warfare, bro. I would love to just grab this loadout, too. Whoa, 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 whoa! Brother, I'm just so much better. <sighs> My shiny teeth that sparkle just like the stars in space. I'm so scared. Assist. doesn't even work like the hacks on computer players use. <laughs> uh, did you know that 90% of computer players are also on fucking controller, you dummy? <laughs> oh, isn't that funny to hear? God, it's so goofy. Blow people's mind. They'll be like, what, what do you mean? Controller players are on PC? Yeah, the ones that are cheating are mostly on controller. I hate to tell you. The people that cheat are mostly on controller. Oh, I know I just burst your bubble. Because they have a mindset like that. The diff the issue is, is people don't know the difference between controller and computer, right? Because it's like, it's like, okay, uh, yeah, but you PC cheaters, hear me out, bro. I'm a mouse and keyboard, right? But 90% of people on PC are on controller. So it's like, you're sitting there fussing about like not having an advantage when the reality is, is you're actually just like you should be fussing about console versus PC, not controller versus mouse and keyboard, but you're just like trying to mix them together. It, like, this is how I know that people have no idea what they're talking about. Cause it's the same thing every single time. The same exact thing every single time. It's like, dude, my, yeah, but on my controller, it don't do what you do on your PC. That that's input versus like console. Like it, it doesn't, it doesn't really make sense. <laughs> input versus platform, you know, like poor people, dude. Poor people that just don't understand. Like, it's too hard to have critical thinking these days. We're tracking a rogue 
Oh, that was stupid. Critical thinking is hard. And most of the people that cheat are on controller. The people that rage cheat are on mouse and key in most in most scenarios because it just flicks to people. Hey, big man. What's good? How are we? What's good? Bet you weren't expecting that. Using your own grenade smoke against you. Isn't that crazy, dude? We just we just gonna sit here and stare at each other? I bet you'll lose that staring contest, bro. I, I guarantee you lose this staring contest. I told you. I like I I try to let him know, bro. Uh, no way he wins that. Not a suit. Where is my super suit? Bring it to me. Because there's no way someone's better at them than the game. Yeah, I, I think the thing is, is like after Call of Duty themselves, like the developers that have created multiple Call of Duties have said, you know what? Aim assist is a little too powerful. In fact, they're, they, they said on a podcast, they were invited to a podcast to talk about the games. And what they said was that the average mouse and keyboard player has no chance against the average controller player. Like no chance. It's like a, it's like a 85 15. I'm pretty sure is what they said. The percentages of the average mouse and keyboard player fighting the average uh, controller player. But they said the average controller player has a 50 50 chance against the best mouse and keyboard players. And the reason why is because while people think that mouse and keyboard players whine, the truth is that controller players whine more. And it, it, it like it sounds goofy, it really does. But But there's a lot more controller players. Like the, the player base is like, it's like 90, 10 controller players to mouse and keyboard players. But you gotta think like, I'm not the best of the best mouse and keyboard players, but I, I am in the 0.1%. Like that's the thing. Controller console player, I want about skill-based smash banking though. Yeah, skill-based smash banking doesn't make any sense. Did you guys know that the only reason that they get rid of the the only the only reason they get rid of playlists every single time that there's like a playlist update instead of just adding in the LTMs is because skill-based matchmaking breaks it. Skill-based matchmaking is what causes long wait times. So I I don't know if you guys remember the controversy with like VPNs, but let me kind of explain it. So the controversy with VPNs was that they don't like, th I think there's like one or two VPNs that actually do get you like lobbies full of really bad players. I think that's a real thing, but the popular one, no lag VPN, what it did was not bad. What it did was that it would force you to get lower ping. I used no lag VPN long before I played Call of Duty. And the reason why is because I used it to get rid of it's called its name for a reason. All right. I, I don't think people realize. I, I think people just looked over the fact that it was called no lag VPN. But the reason that no lag VPN was invented was to lower the amount of lag because of the way that matchmaking systems, specifically with like Demonware, which is Activision's matchmaking company. They basically own a company that just does like matchmaking and stuff like that. Um, the way that Demonware works is that, oh my God, hold that. <laughs> I can't believe that. <sighs> bro, that was nasty. Uh, the way that Demonware works is that. Oh, sorry, my bad, bro. I know, I know it, I know it. There's a guy above you, by the way. I don't know if that's you. God dang it. There's a guy above you on top of the roof. Be careful. 
is that it kind of focuses first on like not skill but engagement optimized matchmaking which means what lobbies do you engage with the most so for example the reason that you'll see me get easier lobbies and this is <laughs> this is why people think that i have a vpn the reason that you'll see me get easier lobbies is that i engage more with easier lobbies J like just facts of the matter is that i engage more with easier lobbies how are you shooting underneath the water what the a pistol can shoot underneath the water so because I play in the morning and the lobbies are often more easier, Call of Duty sees that as like, oh, he really like plays a lot in the morning and the lobbies are easier. So we're going to give him more easy lobbies. Like that's just how it works. Like reality, that is how engagement optimized matchmaking works. Yes, there is a bit of like skill level involved with how they, how they put it together. Oh my God. Oh my God. There's a bit of skill level with how they put it together, but for the most part, it's based on engagement. Like what lobbies you enjoy playing the most or what lobbies you'll put yourself through playing the most, which is why when you come back to the game, you always get an easy lobby first game on unless you're horrific. And then it's just like, well, we can't go any lower than a 0.3 KD. I'm sorry, big man. So at the end of the day, like the way that no lag VPN worked was that it, it basically forces your matchmaking to take a long time so that you get the best ping because after a certain amount of wait time, Call of Duty decides, okay, well, we don't want them to quit the game. So what do we do? Because this is how engagement optimized matchmaking works. We don't want them to quit the game. What do we do? Okay, let's just give them the closest lobby to them. Let's get them into a game as fast as possible. That's why you'll see me always go up to like 180 ping. And then... And then I'll finally get a lobby. Because one, my skill level's a, a bit high. Right? Just in general. I got wins. My skill level is a bit high just in general. So it's going to be pretty hard to find a lobby for me whenever all the good players right now are in the big tournament. So when I'm trying, usually like it would take a little bit less time because it'll throw a lot more players like me into the lobby. But now it takes a long time for me to get a lobby, even on Vondel. 